So, you lay in bed, and some of you go out to bed right away. You start snoring immediately. Others, you lay in bed and wonder why you can't sleep, or you think about all the things in, the li in your life that's not going right, or in the day that didn't go right. I'm gonna to talk to you about what my nightly routine is, and you can perhaps use this to help yourself. So, before I was like you, I would just go to bed and fall asleep. Now, what I do is I go to bed, but before I get to bed, I am saying my affirmation. And I'm working with myself to see it in my mind and to feel it in my body. Then I sit down on the bed and I start going over the things during the day that did not go in my favor. But listen to this part. I revise it as to how I want it to go. So let's say I wanted to recruit a woman because I am in direct sales. I want to recruit a person and she said she's going to call me back, but she did not call me back. So guess what I did in my revision? I imagine that she did call me back. She's excited. She's successful. And now she's on her way to success with our company. Let's say you had a conversation with someone, an argument with someone. You can actually revise it so that you say what you wanted to say that was uplifting. There's no argument. And that can cause shifts in our reality. Let's say you want, you do sales presentations and you didn't sell anything. You can revise that imagine that uh, sales presentation in your mind and you could have sold your largest package. You got it. So that's one of the things I do. The next thing I'll do is as I lay in bed, I'll think about my goals, but I'll imagine as if it already happened. So let's say my goal is to earn a car because my company, my sales company gives away free cars. I would imagine that I have earned that car that I'm being celebrated for the car or whatever it is that rocks your boat. Maybe you're imagining you're driving around in the car or maybe you're selling something and you, you want you at night, you go to bed. You, you imagine that someone says to you, Oh my goodness, I've been looking for this. Oh my gosh, I want it. And I'll give you a bonus just because you gave it to me. You say this, you do this over and over every night and you fall asleep feeling as if your wish is fulfilled. Just fall off to sleep like that. An additional bonus is, let's say you wanna move into a house, haha, <laughs> and you have the picture of the house. You look at the picture every day. You go at night when you go to bed, you go to sleep in your imagination in that house. I'll give an example of this. I'm gonna give one from Neville Goddard and I'm gonna give one from my personal life. So. Neville Goddard talks about the soldier who was in war. He was stationed and he missed it. He was stationed away from his home, of course, and he missed his family. So every night for a couple of nights in a row, he imagined that he was at home in his bed asleep. He had asked his, his, off, his sergeants if he could have gotten out of being a part of the military and they had told him no. So he continued his routine. Every night when he was going to sleep, he pretended as if he was already in his own bed in his own home. A couple days later, his platoon sergeant calls him and says to him, listen, we don't need you here anymore. We're going to discharge you and you're going to go home. Honorable discharge. That's that. Another example is for me. I want to earn a free car from my company. I thought you had to recruit and sell and I didn't think I was good at that. So every night I would imagine that I earned the car and everybody was screaming for me. I was screaming for me and I went off to bed like that. Well, guys, you know the end of the story. I did earn the car. So at night, as you go to bed, see yourself as having what you desired. See yourself doing it and watch as God and dormant faculties work to make sure your wish comes true. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.